Hey there, welcome to another edit video faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short and I'll be showing you how to create a spotlight effect in Avid Media Composer. This tutorial was requested by Anthony, so Anthony, this one is for you. If you have any tutorials you'd like to see, let me know what they are in the comments or over on the contact page on my site, editvideofaster.com. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that I come out with a new tutorial pretty much every week, so go hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new one. Alright, on with the tutorial. I already have Media Composer open. There is a sequence with a still shot of David Wright standing in the batter's box, and what we're going to do is pretend he's going to hit an opposite field home run and we're going to track the ball. I can't tell, but uh, he might be playing my national, so let's hope that he's not actually going to hit one here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a paint effect. So go ahead, hold down Command if you're on a Mac, Control if you're on a PC, and the number 8, and that brings up the effect palette. Find Image, and under, under Image, select Paint Effect and drop it onto the clip can close the effect palette and open up our effect editor. Okay, so we need to zoom out of the monitor. Um, I have that keyed as Shift and O, or you can go ahead and click these uh, plus and minus icons with the magnifying glass. And then we want to hit the rectangle button. And then under solid, that's the mode that we want. And then under color, we're going to go ahead and make it black. So double click it and select black. Click OK. And draw a rectangle over the entire frame. And everything goes black. So what we do, we go back to the opacity over here. And let's change that to something like 85 and hit return going to go back to the record monitor and put our view back to normal. Go back to the effect editor, click on the circle this time, and then under mode, let's change that to erase, and let's draw a circle. There we go, let's pretend this is the ball and this is where we start. Then all we do is um, go to the end, select that keyframe, and find the end point where the ball lands. Drop it down there, and then let's go somewhere in the middle, say right about here. Select a new keyframe, and since home runs usually have an arch to them, let's uh, make this have an arch. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Okay, so if we follow along, the ball gets hit, comes up, and it lands. Now if I close out of my effect editor, I can go ahead and find that clip again of City Field, and let's put a couple seconds before the clip. and another second after the clip and do a little fade in between each one. So here's what we got. Track the home run and it lands. There's quite a bit we could do with this shot. I mean we can add some sound effects with crowd cheering and uh, the, the bat hitting a ball and all that and we can shake the shake the screen a hair but uh yeah that's pretty much how uh, we would highlight the ball and track it going from the bat to the stands i hope you found this tutorial on how to create a spotlight effect in avid media composer helpful if you do please give this video a thumbs up or a comment so i know that i did something right Remember that I come out with a new tutorial every week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new one. I also come out with a new post every week over at the site, editvideofaster.com. This week's post was on how to meet video professionals, build your network, and find future gigs. Go check it out. Question of the week. What are you up to this weekend? Leave your answer in the comments. I'll do the same. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you over at the site and back here for another tutorial next week.